let's have a look at question five now. So we have a perfectly competitive market. Now the production function is given by the following function. The price of capital, which is the interest, is equal to two euros and the price of labor, which is the wage, is equal to nine euros. So suppose we're in the short run and capital is fixed at nine units, what's gonna be the short run cost function of this firm? So I wrote some data here on the right to keep track easier. Now, let's start working. We know that capital is fixed, so we can find our production function in terms of labor only. So if we work out the math over here, what do we get? We would have that capital to the power a half, so 9, which is fixed, to the power 1 over 2, multiplied with labor to the power 1 over 3. Now what is 9 to the power 1 over 2? That's equal to 3. So quantity is equal to 3 times labor to the power 1 over 3. Let's write labor as a function of quantity because we're looking for the short run cost function and we know that the cost function is a function of the quantity. How much does it cost us to produce certain units of quantities? That's what we're looking for. So if we play a bit with the math here, we take 3 on the other side, what do we get? We have L to the power 1 over 3 is equal to Q divided by 3. Now to get rid of this 1 over 3, let's raise both sides to the power of 3. So we raise this one to the power of 3 and the other side to the power of 3 because this is an equation and we can do so. On the left side we're left with only L. On the right side we will have q to the power of 3 divided by 27. So now we have now we have the uh, labor function depending on the quantity. With this in mind we can go on and, and calculate our short run total cost function. Short run total cost function will be the interest rate that we pay for the capital that we hire plus the wage that we pay for the employees for the labor that we hire. Now what's that gonna look like? So we know the interest rate which is Two. we know the capital is 9 and we know the wage we know also the labor function depending on the quantity let's just substitute all this data and see what we have short run total cost function is equal to interest rate 2 times capital 9 plus the wage is also 9 and then the labor function is q to the power of 3 divided by 27 let's work out some math over here 9 and 27 cancel out so this is left with 3 2 times 9 is 18, so that means the short run total cost function is equal to 18 plus uh, q to the power of 3 divided by 3. And that's it, we are done.